the future is here. It's exciting. It's filled with possibilities. Artificial intelligence is changing everything. We're on the cusp of a new era. Machines are learning to think. They're learning to create. This has never happened before. It's a new dawn for humanity. AI will reshape our world. It will touch every aspect of our lives, from the mundane to the extraordinary. It will automate tasks. It will solve complex problems. It will unlock our creative potential. The possibilities are limitless. But this future comes with a challenge. A challenge for humanity to adapt, to evolve. Not everyone is ready for this rapid change. We must acknowledge this. We must address this. The rise of AI presents a fork in the road. One path leads to prosperity, the other to disparity. We must choose wisely. We must ensure that no one is left behind. Some will thrive in this new age. They will embrace technology. They will use it to create, innovate, and succeed. Others will struggle to keep up. Their skills will become obsolete. They will face an uncertain future. This is the reality we must confront. Ignoring it helps no one. We cannot turn back the clock. We cannot stop the advance of technology. But we can prepare for its impact. We must bridge the gap. We must provide a safety net. We must empower everyone to succeed in this new world. This is our challenge. This is our responsibility. The rapid march of technology leaves some behind. This is not a new phenomenon. Throughout history, progress has always had its casualties. But the pace of change today is unprecedented. The skills that were valuable yesterday are becoming obsolete tomorrow. Think of the horse and buggy drivers. Imagine their plight as the automobile emerged. Their livelihoods vanished. Their skills no longer relevant. This is the reality for many today. Factory workers replaced by robots. Truck drivers facing self-driving trucks. Cashiers displaced by automated kiosks. The digital revolution is reshaping industries at an astonishing rate. What we're seeing is not simply a shift in jobs, but a fundamental change in the nature of work itself. The skills required for the jobs of the future are vastly different from those of the past. This rapid transformation leaves many feeling lost and uncertain. They see their jobs disappearing, their futures uncertain. They fear being left behind in a world that no longer values their skills. This fear is understandable. It is justified. We cannot ignore their plight. The struggle to adapt is real. It's about adapting to a whole new way of thinking. The jobs of the future require creativity and problem solving. Traditional education systems fall short. Many are ill-equipped for this new reality. The skills gap is widening. We must bridge this gap. Section 3 a bridge over troubled waters. We need a bridge. A bridge over the troubled waters of technological disruption. A bridge that connects those left behind to the opportunities of the future. It requires both immediate action and long-term solutions. Universal basic income is not a handout. It's a hand up. It's an investment in our collective future it's about providing people with the breathing room to adapt. It's about giving them the opportunity to acquire the skills they need to thrive. Section 1. The Safety Net. 
The future is uncertain. Technological advancements displace many. Fear of job loss and financial instability is paralyzing. We must provide a safety net. Universal basic income is essential. It's about dignity and security. Section 2. Empowering Potential. Universal. Basic income is not just about providing a safety net. It's about unleashing human potential. When people are freed from the daily grind of survival, they can pursue their passions. They can contribute to society in meaningful ways. Imagine a world where artists can create without starving, where musicians can share their music without worrying about making rent, where entrepreneurs can take risks and innovate without the fear of failure. This is the potential that universal basic income unlocks. It's about creating a society where everyone has the opportunity to reach their full potential, regardless of their background or circumstances. It's about fostering a culture of creativity, innovation, and entrepreneurship. It's about empowering individuals to become active participants in shaping the future, not passive bystanders. Universal basic income is more than just a financial policy. It's a statement about our values. It's a recognition that every human being has inherent worth, that everyone deserves the opportunity to live a fulfilling life. It's about creating a society that values human dignity over profit, a society that prioritizes well-being over wealth accumulation, a society that recognizes that true prosperity comes from empowering all its members, not just a select few. This is not a utopian dream. It's a practical solution to the challenges of the 21st century. It's a way to ensure that the benefits of technological progress are shared by all, not just a privileged few. Universal basic income is an investment in our collective future. It's an investment in human potential. It's an investment in a more just, equitable, and prosperous society for all. Our education systems are outdated. They are relics of the industrial age, designed to churn out compliant factory workers, not creative thinkers. We sit in rows, memorize facts, and regurgitate information on standardized tests. This is not education. This is indoctrination. We treat our children like cogs in a machine, not unique individuals with their own passions and potential. We stifle creativity, crush curiosity, and extinguish the spark of innovation. This is a disservice to our children and a detriment to our future. The world is changing faster than ever before. The jobs of tomorrow demand critical thinking, problem solving, and adaptability. These skills are not taught in textbooks. They are cultivated through exploration, experimentation, and collaboration. We need an education revolution, a paradigm shift from rote learning to active learning, from memorization to innovation, from standardization to personalization. Our children deserve an education that prepares them for the future, not the past. The world is full of information. Facts and figures are at our fingertips. We need critical thinking, not memorization. Teach children how to learn, not what to learn. The future belongs to adaptable problem solvers. Imagine classrooms encouraging questions, schools embracing innovation, making students the center of learning. Every child is born with unlimited potential. 
Our job is to ignite their imaginations, cultivate curiosity, and empower them. Create learning environments that foster creativity and critical thinking. Imagine schools that are more like playgrounds than prisons, where students experiment, take risks, and learn from mistakes. Teachers as facilitators, not lecturers. A flexible, adaptable curriculum for each learner. Recognize every child's unique talents and abilities. Celebrate diversity and nurture individuality. This is the key to a brighter future for all. Imagine an education system, not of factories, but of gardens, where young minds are nurtured like seeds. Given the space to grow, to blossom, this is the future I envision. A future where education is personalized, engaging, and empowering. We must move away from standardized tests, away from rote memorization. We need to foster critical thinking, encourage creativity, embrace collaboration. These are the skills that will serve our children. In a world rapidly changing, we need adaptable minds. Imagine classrooms transformed, no longer rows of desks, but dynamic spaces for exploration where technology is seamlessly integrated. Interactive whiteboards come alive. Virtual reality transports students to distant lands. Coding becomes second nature. This is not a far off dream. The tools are already within reach. We need the will, the courage to break free from outdated models, to invest in the future. Our children deserve nothing less. The tools of the future are not just technological. They are pedagogical. We must empower teachers, equip them with the skills and resources to guide this new generation. Professional development should focus on fostering creativity, on nurturing curiosity, Imagine classrooms as incubators of innovation, where students learn by doing. Project-based learning becomes the norm. Students tackle real-world problems. They collaborate. They create. They innovate. Failure is not feared, but embraced as a stepping stone to success. Technology plays a crucial role, but not as a replacement for human interaction. It augments the learning experience provides personalized feedback, connects students with a world of knowledge, opens doors to limitless possibilities. This is not about replacing teachers with robots. It's about empowering teachers, giving them the tools and support they need to be the guides, the mentors, the facilitators of learning that they are meant to be, are Imagine a world where learning is not confined to the classroom, a joyous exploration of knowledge, a renaissance of learning, driven by curiosity, fueled by passion, accessible to all. Personalized learning paths focus on passions. The arts ignite imagination, preparing for life, adaptability, creativity, resilience, Engaged citizens shaping the future. Humanity is diverse. Our minds are a spectrum, each unique, each valuable. There's no one size fits all solution, not for education, not for anything. We must embrace this diversity, celebrate the beauty of individual minds. Some thrive in structured environments. They find comfort in routine. Others crave freedom. They rebel against conformity. Both are valid. Both have something to offer. Our education system should reflect this. Imagine a system that offers multiple pathways tailored to different learning styles. Some might flourish in traditional settings. Others might thrive in hands-on apprenticeships. 
still others might find their niche in online learning environments. The goal is not to force everyone into the same mold, but to provide the support and resources for each individual to reach their full potential, to blossom in their own unique way. Education should not be a prison. With rigid walls and limited options, it should be a door open to a world of possibilities, inviting exploration, encouraging discovery. This is the true purpose of education. We must empower students to take ownership of their learning, to follow their passions, to chart their own course. This requires a shift in mindset from passive recipients of information to active seekers of knowledge. Imagine a world where learning is not a chore, but a joyful pursuit, where students are excited to explore, to experiment, to push the boundaries of what they know. This is the power of true education. My mission is not to provide all the answers, but to inspire the right questions, to ignite the spark of curiosity that burns bright within each of us. The future belongs to those who never stop learning, who embrace change, who dare to dream big. The future is not something that happens to us. It is something we create together. We have the power to shape a future where technology empowers humanity, where AI augments our creativity, not replaces it, where everyone has the opportunity to contribute, to thrive, to reach their full potential. This future requires a commitment to education, to innovation, to compassion. It requires us to embrace change, to adapt, to learn new skills, it requires us to support those who are struggling to keep up, to ensure that no one is left behind. Imagine a world where poverty is eradicated, where disease is conquered, where climate change is reversed. This is not a utopia. It is the future we can build together if we have the courage to dream big and the will to act. The journey begins with each of us with a commitment to lifelong learning, to creativity, to collaboration. It begins with a belief in ourselves, in our collective potential, in the power of humanity to create a better future for all. Let's embark on this journey together.